Hey, this is Matt from Esquan. Today is Monday, November 15, 2021. Friday closed strong in the markets, and Monday overnight session is off to a quiet start. We have a very light range, just 14 points of range at the time of this recording. That is less than half of the five-day ATR. So we have quiet activity here in the overnight session to start off the week. And that's something that we can look at uh, in the S&P here using Discover. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use just the S&P for this study. We're going to go into the opening filters, and I'm going to click on gap up and then I'm going to go into the overnight filters and I'm going to describe the action that we're seeing in the overnight session here in the S&P which is fairly quiet we have not gone very far uh, in either direction from where we opened in the overnight session we're trading a little bit higher so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this overnight range as a percentage of the five day ATR and I'm going to put in a maximum size for the overnight range. I'm going to type in 50 here and that will mean that the overnight range cannot be more than 50% of the five day ATR for this study. And currently the five day ATR in the S&P is about 33 and a half points. So we are well under that right now for uh, 50% today. That's going to be about 16 and three quarters points of range, which uh, we are under at the time of this recording. So can't guarantee we're going to be under that by the time the market opens, but that's what this study is going to be based upon. All right, next I'm going to go into the indicators library, and I'm going to say that we are above a 10 and above a 200 day simple moving average. And then lastly, I'm going to go into the calendar library. I'm going to say that today is Monday, so it's starting off the week this way. All right, let me click view results. And here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at the open of regular trading hours, which is 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. It's exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time when it is a Monday and you are gapping up on that Monday. But the overnight range is very light relative to the five-day ATR, which I've described as an overnight range being less than 50% of the five-day ATR. Uh, this is taking place above a 10 and 200 day simple moving average, so bull market environment. Historically, there are 81 samples here for the S&P dating back to 2003. The win rate on it is coming in just under 40% here uh, for entering at the open. If we look at the average moves, the average move to the upside is quite a bit larger than the average move to the downside but the win rate is fairly weak. So historically, this pattern has closed below the open more often than not, but when it does not close below the open, the moves to the upside are larger than the moves to the downside. So hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We'll see you next time.